Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but uh, we'll find out. My name is Curtis, and I have two goals. First off, just to inform you, and secondly, is to see how much money you can make on YouTube. So, on every video I post, I will say how much money I've made so far. And since this is the first video, I haven't made anything yet. Good times, but you don't even know the difference. So, let's talk about today's topic. Is something real? Is the real world something we can talk a bit? Yes. So let's communicate today about contrast. So, let's talk, my guys. So... What is the meaning of life? It's whatever the fuck you want it to be. Like, who honestly gives a shit? Why, you know, overcomplicate anything? And what this sexy little monk has to say, <clears throat> I have my own thing, my own answer for the meaning of life, but it can be whatever you want it to be. It's just your life, after all. But monketry has its definitions. The monk meeting. The meetings of life as a monk is to just be happy. You know, enjoy as much as you can because you got so little. And you're so you know, unimportant to everything else. Any one person is so unimportant. They might as well. Just do what they can to make themselves and other people around them happy. That's the monk meaning. You know, your your life clock ticks, it does. And you only have so much time on this planet, so it's best to maximize how positive you can feel and how you can make other people around you positive, because that'll make you more positive in return. You know, but... You have to just maximize how much dopamine you get. I wouldn't say do drugs because that makes your life shorter. And it's best to have a little bit over a long time than a lot at once. You know, and that's because we uh, register how much happiness we have by contrast, right? And you're only happy when you're not sad. And you're only sad when you're not happy. And we compare the lows to the highs, right? How high a high is, if there's other highs around it, it doesn't become as high. But if you have, you know, slow and steady, you have a lot of bumps of happiness. The happiness feels something new, you know? And if you uh, invest for the future, you can have more time to make more bumps, now, go to college, that's important, but with you know, college, you have a foundation, you have more options. And if you just, you know, cash out and do the hard drugs, you know, all the happiness is just the beginning of your life, it's just one bump. But it's better to have, you know, a little bit over time because you can compare it to the bumps, and you have that contrast. The contrast is like really important to master. That's what the thing is about. It's about how things can feel so much different. You know, if you're it's like surrounded by like dollars, wealth everywhere, you know, twenty dollars isn't that big of a deal. You know, it's just like oh, it's just twenty dollars. But if you're broke, twenty dollars is pretty sweet, just because you're used to having no money instead of used to having a lot of money. It is still the twenty dollars, but its importance is through contrast. And another way that contrast appears is a drug tolerance, right? Now, someone who is drinking alcohol very often is not, you know, used to just one beer. Like one beer is like, oh, that's that's water. It's nothing. But if you never drink. You can actually, you know, feel the effect of one beer. You know, of course, the size changes, but if you take the same person and have them drink a lot of alcohol for a week, 
and then give them a beer, that beer will be a lot less if they are already been drinking because they're just used to it, right? They're, the line has moved up. Our highs are only compared to our lows, and our lows are only compared to our highs. And just to be happy, to, you know, ride that contrast and feel emotions over your, the course of your life, is the meaning of life in thick dick monk a tree. And you know, be happy, experience life, and feel the contrast. Because, you know, it'll be over soon. And another important thing about that is to not uh, be rude to other people because it limits how happy they can be. And you want to make sure that they can you know, ride the contrast too. And if you just push them down, the time where they could be happy you're making them sad, and that's time they'll never get back, right? So it's really you know, important to be nice. And there's a certain amount of money. So let's say greed is a bad thing. Like a lot of people do a lot of evil stuff over money, right? Especially the people in charge, you know, the U.S. prison system. But if you already have a lot of money, being rude to someone in getting rid of their limited time just so you can have slightly more money, which you're not even used to because of contrast, is such a crude thing, you know? The perfect amount of money you could get is to live the rest of your life and be happy. That's all the money you need at one time. That's the maximum amount. And even if you, like, work, you can still work throughout your life and you'll be happy at the end. You don't need limitless amounts of money to be happy. That's not the meaning of life. A lot of people say the meaning of life is to just get money and die. And provide offspring. I guess having kids is important because it brings you happiness. And you know you can bring them happiness too. But the meaning of life is not to get money. Because the only amount of money you need is the amount of money to be happy. Which is you know, just to go to college and get a good job. Is all the money you'll need in your life. And then another important thing about the meaning of life is the contrast we've been talking about. But with the contrast, you really see how everything is just, you know, the same. All we do is just compare them off of what we previously have seen. You know, we just, we put stuff into categories to analyze it. And, you know, life is just a series of causes and effects, and causes and effects over and over again. It's just the... Stuff happening in a line, right? And a lot of people say they have a free will and there's other possibilities, which there is not, okay? There's just a line of series and events. What made you do what you're about to do cannot change. The line has already happened. And what you'll do after that is just a reaction, which will just affect the future, Right? Just actions and reactions. It's a singular line. You know, what you're going to do, what you've already done, is just uh, how the molecules have reacted. And the molecules will continue to react in the same way. Yeah, you know, there's no. You've seen the one scene from Back to the Future where he, like, drew a line, then he drew another line. There's just one line. It's like. What that freaking ball dude was wrong. Uh, it's just a series of actions and reactions. It's like we're on a freaking boat. You know, our entire life, man, we're just riding a freaking boat. And wherever the boat's gonna go, the boat's, the boat's gonna go. Right? It doesn't split into three different boats that go three different ways. You know, it's one line. It's one, uh, this thing that holds events that just moves. And we're just riding it. We got no control on wherever the boat goes. And we have no free will. Our actions are just a line of actions and reactions, right? Your brain just looks at past events and looks for the maximum positive emotions, right? It just... 
rides alone on the boat. You know, there's like eight billion people riding this boat. And there's, you know, there's some changes. You know, the changes we make in contrast to everything is nothing. But, you know, the changes you make throughout your life in contrast to the people around you is nice, right? And how, whatever meaningless it is in the grand picture, if you just, you know, shrink it down to your daily life, you know, the room you're in, you have a lot of contrast to it. You know, that's just the meaning of life, man. To feel happy, and ride the boat, and have that contrast. And, you know, we look for the, you know, every positive emotions. This is a public service announcement. Never take the easy way to be happy, because there's always something wrong with it. Like hard drugs, that's an easy way to be happy. You know, you just push the button and you get, uh, on effect like crack. I want to say wheat's not a hard drug, it's like alcohol. But, or another shallow emotion is just being fucking absorbed in yourself, right? Being super egotistical, which makes you not see the world how it is, right? It's just push a button to be happy. It's important to find the ways to be happy that are natural, that have some contrast involved. Like, working hard for something and seeing the result is much better than to just, you know, push a button and feel like you're good about yourself because it has contrast to it. It's another thing. I made a video about how it's bad to be narcissistic. And that's a good thing. It makes it so it's so easy to just feel good about yourself. You don't know, ride the contrast. You know, it's just if you like work hard and yeah, basically you want to make someone happy so you're happy. That's like effort and then it's a payoff. But when you're self-centered, the happiness you get is so short-lived because it's just like, it's pulling it out of your butt, you know? It's everything worth doing is working towards it. <coughs> Salute!